Yo, what's going on, everybody? Ultimate DJ's here from the Teaching Trek YouTube, Talking Trek podcast, and Twitching Trek over on Twitch with a quick and dirty for you. This I'm going to try to condense as much as I can very, very quickly, so follow along, rewind if you need to. Rewind if you need to. This is a quick and dirty on the Alliance Starbase loop. All right, uh, let's go ahead and hop into our game here very quickly. First, to start the Alliance Starbase, you're going to see you've got a new tab in here for Alliance Starbase, all right? And it is going to take materials uh, to build. I've actually already uh, constructed my Starbase, but you'll see that it's going to require subspace superconductors. So where do you get those? All right, let's talk a little bit about it. First thing you're going to have to do is you're going to have to run armadas. Where do you find the armadas? Uh, thanks to uh, Star Trek Fleet Command.com right here. Where can I find Cardassian Station? These are the armadas. Here are the systems that you can find them in. All right, level 27 all the way through 50. There are uncommon, rare, and epic armadas. They take the same number of directives as normal faction armadas. So 100 for an uncommon, 200 for a rare, 500 for an epic. These are the systems in which you can find these armadas. When you do find an armada, you're going to come over here, and uh, when you find one, you're going to be able to run them. Here they are, uh, for example, in a system. Uh, let's see if we can find an uncommon very quickly. Most of these are epic. Let's see if we can find an uncommon. And uh, I'll show you what they do, because that's really kind of where you probably are going to want to start. Here's an uncommon very quickly. We're going to take a look. Uh, the loot that you can get right here, normal uncommon armada uh, loot for you to continue to do your chest since they are using normal directives, but also Cardassian loot, okay? Where are you going to use the Cardassian loot? You're going to come into your Alliance store, just where you would normally use your Armada loot. Uh, you're going to come in here, and you've got these three new boxes right here, Card uh, Resistance Bounties, Alliance Altruism, and Maquis Bounties. All right, now I've already pulled mine for today, but thankfully I've got a couple of pictures I can show you resistance bounties here is the first one all right uh what you're going to get in here for a thousand uncommon uh cardassian loot you're going to get some subspace superconductors these are the building materials the parts that you're going to need to build and upgrade the modules on the alliance starbase you're also going to get some alliance reserves these are going to be used for some functions inside the alliance starbase including relocating it later on when you're starting to mine with it okay uh you're also going to get these alliance starbase speed ups they are indicated by this purple emblem they cannot be interchanged with normal buildings speed ups and they cannot be converted with latinum so you're going to have to definitely amass these up into an alliance bank uh the alliance bank is actually going to be noticed right here they've added a new button for inventory where you're going to see your territory inventory but also you're going to see your uh, alliance starbase stuff so there's the parts that you got build up the reserves and some of these alliance starbase speed ups all right you're going to progress through building the components just uh with these items right here and you're going to get those from for example these chests all right um also if you happen to do a rare uh let's pop back over here very quickly if you do a rare or an epic let's see if we can find one here's a rare right here it's going to give the superior cardassian loot and uh, the same thing is going to drop from the epics uh you'll notice back in game that uh whoops wrong button uh you'll notice back in game no i don't want to do that over here in your alliance tab uh these other two bundles right over oops Gosh, I'm all over the place. In the store, uh, right here, Maquis Bounties and Alliance Altruism. These are actually taking the superior Cardassian loot. Let me show you this right here. That is the epic loot or the rare loot right here. You're going to get these earned by defeating rare or epic, and you're going to use the superior Cardassian loot inside both bundles called Maquis Bounty. All right, here's one. Uh, more subspace superconductors, more alliance reserves, some alliance reputation, which we'll talk about in a moment, more speed ups, and then assembly metals. These are for research that you will do independently. So the Alliance Starbase itself, by upgrading the modules, are going to eventually provide you some buffs and some services and things like that you can do within the Alliance Starbase. But the assembly metals are actually going to be the currency that you use to do your own research. Now, let me be clear. Whatever buffs that the Alliance Starbase gives you is for the team. Whatever research you do within the Starbase tab is for you individually. So you'll notice I haven't done any here. And you'll notice they haven't even all been released yet. There's a lot of coming soon in here. But you're going to see working through, and these do take the assembly medals uh, that will increase, for example, base weapon damage against Cardassian Armada targets. Those assembly medals are for you to do your individual individual research. Now, this is in my key bounty. You'll notice you get the research tokens, okay? But if you use your rare loot 
in the Alliance bundle, you're going to notice there's no research medals, but you do get more of the parts and more of the reserves and even more Alliance reputation, even more speed ups. This is all about choice. You can do better for your team in the Alliance chest, or you can choose the... Um, the Maquis one, which is kind of more about serving yourself. Less parts, but more research, all right? At least early on, you're probably going to be able to maybe pull doubles of these, uh, or not doubles, rather, but pull both of these chests. Uh, but again, because they're using rare directives and epic directives, not every player may be able to do that every single day. So just choose carefully in what you're actually going to be able to pull with here. I pulled all of them today. Um, but you're not going to be able to do that every single day. So choose the area of priority for you. That's going to help you with the research, and that's going to help you with the building modules. Now, as you proceed uh, throughout, and I think I've got some uh, pulled up in stfc.space. Let me see if I can find that for you. Here you go, stfc.space. Uh, you can come in. You're going to find these building modules in the Starbase. There are plenty of buildings, and these are going to take other prerequisites of buildings. They're going to take the superconductors. Eventually, they're going to take plasma. All right. They're going to take collisional plasma and magnetic plasma. Where do you find those? Well, you're going to find those on the nodes. Once you have built enough modules inside the Alliance Starbase, you're going to go look for plasma. Where can you find these plasma storms? Well, you're going to find collision plasma, collisional plasma, in these lower systems right here. And when you're ready for it, you're going to find magnetic plasma in some of these higher systems. You will actually use those Alliance reserves to transport your Alliance Starbase to mine these materials. Now, thankfully, there is no refinery for that. Whatever you mine straight from the node is what is going to actually be able to be used here for these parts. So you'll notice here for this particular uh, building, uh, it's going to take 5,800 collisional plasma. That's what you're going to get directly from that node. You're going to mine the collisional plasma. You're going to use that along with the parts that you guys are refining, and that will allow you to continue to progress and build up your Alliance Starbase. All right. Um, the research is there. The armadas are there. The loot is how you're going to be using it. And that right here is pretty much the quick and dirty on the Alliance Starbase. There are going to be things that it does for you, uh, including, for example, let's take a look at some of these others. For example, diplomatic relations uh, going to increase the amount of Alliance reputation and so forth that you get. And someone might ask the question, what is Alliance reputation? Alliance reputation is going to be tracked right here. And one thing that you should know, if you leave your Alliance, it will reset. As of this time, there aren't any locks that we're aware about, and we have been told you will lose it all. I'm not going to show you this on screen because I don't want to lose all my reputation, but if you leave your alliance, you will lose all of your reputation and have to start over. You will not, however, lose the research that you've already done or even the research that you've already started. So if you've started a research and then you leave an alliance or you get booted for boot and loot or if you just decide to switch teams or you're trying to hop around for particles or territory or this or that then you're going to lose all this reputation so you're gonna to have to think long and hard about whether or not this is something that you're willing to risk by leaving your alliance even if you rejoin the same team your rep will not come back and why is that important well there's going to be research involved and if you take a look at some of this research you're going to see that some of this research at certain levels is going to require certain levels of reputation. Uh, we have estimated that 9 or 10 million is about where it caps out. We don't know that for sure, but here is a research that does require ops level 60, and it's also requiring 9 million reputation. In order to get some of these higher levels of reputation, you're not going to be able to leave your team. So this is probably a little bit of a checks and balances as far as leaving your team for territories or particles or this or that. This is going to prohibit that a little bit. And for some players, really liking this idea of the mechanic to prevent some of the conglomerate or alliance hopping or stacking or things like that that's going on in territory. But that's why that alliance reputation is going to be so important. And you must know it will reset. OK, that's what they're saying. I'm not willing to test it. <laughs> so just know about that. Once you actually build this thing up and actually do a couple of these modules, then you're going to be able to actually go to a mining node. Let's see if we can find one here. Uh, Barani, BH. I'm going to show you very quickly 
what it looks like when you go to one. Whoops. DHA. Ah, messed that all up. Hang on. Search. Come on now. BHA. Why is that not working? Am I am I spelling it wrong? <laughs> Woo! It's been a long day. You guys had a long day? I've had a long day. All right, BHA. There we go. Barani! Once we get into that system, we're going to see these plasma clouds. Here's what they look like, okay? And you will press this button to relocate your alliance. You see here that it's using the alliance reserves. You have to be a Commodore or higher. What is happening with my my, my cheeks? Woo! I was holding my breath there for a second. It sounded like. Uh, so you'll be able to relocate the alliance starbase to mine these nodes. And when they get zeroed, then you'll have to move to another system. This is the quick and dirty on your Alliance Starbase. Sorry, I have no voice. That's the quick and dirty. You're gonna be doing the Armadas to feed the refinery, to get the parts, to do the research, and to mine the stuff so that you can continue upgrading your Alliance Starbase to improve the buffs and benefits and stuff that you get. This, however, is not all. This is what we see for this first month, but the abilities of this Alliance Starbase will continue to evolve as the seasonal arc progresses. All right, so there you go. You're quick and dirty on Alliance Star Bases. If you have questions, leave them in the section below. I'll be happy to answer those for you. In the meantime, I will say thank you for subscribing. Thank you for watching the video. Please be sure to smash the thumbs up. Tell us you liked it. Share it with your team. Click on the bell so you know about other content. And be sure to keep uh, locked in right here to the Teaching Trek YouTube for a lot more content to come on how everything is going to work within this arc. My name is Ultimate DJ. It's your friendly neighborhood cat person. Sam Meow for now. Love you. Me to catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.